Welcome to Mathematics Pro. So today we are going to calculate the radius and the volume of this cone and we should know that we have to apply the principle of similarity in order to calculate the, the volume or the radius. So let's get started. So applying the principle of similarity we have to draw two similar triangles. So we have this big one and this small triangle that we have to draw so that we'll be able to calculate the radius. So our first triangle, the bigger one, this small triangle. Okay. So looking at the the last the big triangle, right? So we are going to have the it height is going to be you can see the height of this cone is 10 so the height of this triangle will be 10 so this is it here the radius is unknown and looking at the internal the triangle inside the smaller one we have 4 and 6 so when we are start, um, answering question involving similarity to get the value of the unknown, we have to write the ratio of similar side. So the ratio of similar side, we can call this one, we can call this two. The ratios of similar side. So <clears throat> if we start here, we are going to have this side and this side is similar. So if we write the ratio, R divided by six should be equal to, we started with this, that's why I wrote one, should be equal to 10 divided by 4. So if we cross multiply to get r, r will be equals to, you can cross multiply, 10 times 6 divided by 4. So 10 times 6 is 60. 60 divided by 4 will give us 15. So we are going to have 15 centimeter. So this is our radius. So next, now that we know the um, radio, it's easier for us to calculate the volume. So for the volume, the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared times the height. So, so let us plug in the values from the formula. So v will be equal to one third times pi is three point one four. The radius gives us fifteen. So the radius is 15, so we are going to have 15 times 15 times the height of this cylinder. The height is 10. So times the height, which is 10. So we can simplify further. 3 divided by 15 is 5. So we are going to have the volume will be equals to 3.14 times we have 5 times 15 which is 75 we just times 10 we just add 0 v 3.14 times 750 will give us let me see 3.14 times 750 we give us 2,355 centimeter cube. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe.